Hello there, welcome to Sorbs' classes. This is Ashmata and in today's class we are going to talk about the GMAT examination. Now, most of you are going to get this GMAT examination for this year and most of you are preparing for this examination but do you know what this GMAT examination is all about and uh, do you really know all the details regarding it like what kind of uh, uh, sections are there and what uh, is the syllabus, the updated one and how you can prepare yourself for this entrance examination. Not really, right? So in today's class, we are going to know all about this GMAT examination. What is it? What's the pattern? What's the latest updates? And how you can apply and uh, all the details regarding it and all the highlights. So let's get started. examination, the GMAT is a computer adaptive test that assesses the candidate's analytical writing, then quantitative, verbal and reading skills in standard written English. Now the cost of giving, the, uh, giving this uh, GMAT exam is uh, when I'm calculate, calculating in US dollar, it's $275. Now this test is taken to get admission into the graduate management program such as the MBA and Masters in Finance related courses in around the top business schools across the world. So in today's video, we are going to know each and every aspect uh, related to the GMAT covering the eligibility, then the registration process, the exam pattern and all the related articles. Now, it's uh, since the year 2018 that the Graduate Management Admission Council has shortened the GMAT exam uh, for the 2022 by 30 minutes. So now the examination is of 3 hours plus 30 minutes, including test instructions and breaks. Now the verbal reasoning and the quantitative sections were shortened by 13 and 10 minutes respectively. The integrated reasoning and the analytical writing assessment along with the score preview and the optional break time remained the same. These changes do not have any impact on scoring uh, in the shortened verbal reasoning as well as in the quantitative sections as only the unscored items have been removed by the GMAC. The GMAT has a feature that provides candidates with the flexibility to customize their GMAT experience by choosing the section order in which they feel most comfortable taking the exam. Now, what we are going to discuss is about the latest updates in the GMAT exam. Now, GMAT has announced the latest updates regarding the GMAT online test. Now, this, uh, the, the, from this year, like the number of times a candidate can take the GMAT online exam will not be limited to two times from now. And the online attempts will, will just count towards the overall GMAT attempt limits of around 5 from this year. Like 5 attempts are possible in a rolling 12 month period and 8 in a lifetime. The GMAT online exam includes 5 free score reports and the 5 free score reports must be used within 48 hours once the official online exam score is available. The additional score reports can be purchased for US dollar 35 each. GMAT announces the acceptance of the Aadhaar card for the GMAT online exam. Indian students are in for a pleasant surprise as the GMAC administrator and owner of the GMAT, that is the Graduate Management Admission Test, has announced that they would be accepting Aadhaar card as the valid proof, valid ID proof for the GMAT online exam, uh, which mostly takes place in the month of April every year. However, candidates uh, just uh, would be required to validate their identity using their Aadhaar card or passport during the registration process. 
Now, this initiative has been taken by GMAC to make the GMAT 2022 more accessible to a larger student base. However, students should keep in mind a few pointers and they are like the candidates would be required to validate their Aadhaar card during the online exam registration process. The Aadhaar card is only being accepted as the valid ID proof for appearing for the online format of the GMAT test. The GMAT test centers will only accept a valid passport as the ID proof and the new development comes uh, to effect uh, like it has already come into effect since the previous year. Talking about the GMAT online examination, now due to all these uh, pandemic sessions, um, uh, GMAC has introduced the G GMAT online exam for those who wish to take the GMAT entrance examination from the convenience of their home rather than going to the GMAT test center. So now the candidates have the option to take the GMAT exam online or at a test center near them. Both the options are open. So why, why uh, you should be taking this GMAT examination? This is a very frequently asked question that why you should be taking the GMAT exam. Now this, it, uh, like, like it's the most widely accepted examination for the MB admissions worldwide and no other exam has as wide uh, acceptability as the GMAT, like as per the GMAC. Like globally, it's 9 out of 10 MBA enrollments are made through the GMAT score. Furthermore, 2,300 plus schools accept the GMAT scores for giving admissions. Also, there are around 650 testing centers in 114 countries that administer the GMAT exam. Now, what's the eligibility criteria? That's the, what, uh, what is the GMAT age criteria? Now, the candidate must have completed 18 years of age. There is no upper age limit for the candidate. And if the candidate is between 13 years to 17 years old, they should have permission in writing from their parents or a legal guardian. Talking about the educational qualification, GMAC has not announced any official statement regarding the qualifications required to appear for the GMAT exam. Candidates who wish to enroll in an MBA program should possess a graduate degree in any discipline from a recognized university. What about the GMAT exam fees? The GMAT exam fees is around $275, which would translate to Indian rupees 20,600 approximately. And also, if the applicants wants, want to change the center or reschedule the test, then they will be charged an extra amount. Now, candidates who do not show up for the test will be charged the full GMAT exam fees. Coming over to the GMAT exam pattern, the GMAT exam pattern comprises of four sections. One is the analytical writing, second is the integrated reasoning portion, third is the quantitative reasoning, and fourth is the verbal reasoning section. In total, uh, you are going to get 30 minutes for one topic in the analytical writing section, 30 minutes in the integrated reasoning for answering 12 questions, 62 minutes for answering 31 questions from the quantitative reasoning section, and uh, also uh, you are going to get around 65 minutes for answering 36 questions for the verbal reasoning section. Now what all you are going to have in these four sections. For the analytical writing section, you are going to get analysis of argument, which is basically an essay. For the integrated reasoning portion, you would be getting uh, questions based on table analysis, two-part analysis, then multi-source reasoning, then graphics interpretation. Now for the quantitative reasoning portion, you are going to get data sufficiency, then problem solving questions. And for the verbal reasoning section, you can get reading unseen passages, then sentence correction, then critical reasoning questions. Yeah, so that was the entire discussion for today's class and you came to know a lot about this GMAT examination. 
which you previously uh, hopefully did not know about this exam so well so if you want to know more about such kind of examinations and if you want to prepare well with us then you can join our classes at www.sorbsysclasses.com you will get all the details as well as the link and the phone number in the description box just below this video you can post your queries in the comment down uh, in the comment box uh, below you can comment down and uh, if you want to join our classes you can call us you can just call us at any time you will get the uh, like the benefits of live lectures, recorded lectures, portal access, you will get the solutions to the previous year's question papers and you will also get the solutions of like soft study materials at your doorstep through the fastest delivery possible and you will also get the crash course facilities, the doubt clearing sessions, the worksheets after every session, then mock test facilities and yeah so all these things you are getting and mostly our study materials are also available in amazon and flipkart so you can buy from there also no need to call us for that but if you want to join our classes for any kind of exam preparation like for any kind of competitive exams or any kind of entrance exams you can join our classes just uh, enroll yourself just call us inquire with us and join our classes yeah, so that's it for today's class we are going to meet once again in our next classes Thank you.